as discussed in uh, previous video uh, we are going to put a firewall in between two peers and we'll see how uh, both site A and site B how they communicate to each other on watch what port number they are communicating we we want to see uh, in firewall why I've chosen the firewall in the firewall we can see uh, on which port because uh, firewall will keep the IP address and the port number in the state table so that and also we will try to understand uh, which direction the connection is allowed and which direction it is not allowed and how many connection uh, will be so and also we'll see if there is a firewall in between uh, two peers what is the best solution for that I'm just talking about Cisco ASA right now okay so this is our inside network and this is our outside network okay so first we'll try to log into uh, PC1 and we'll try to ping and we'll see whether ping is ha happening or not first so let me just log in over here CMD and we'll try to ping PC2 ping and the configuration was same what we have done in the first practical so 20.1.1.10 and we'll go and log into ASA and we'll try to enable the console log so that we can see uh, as we can see that it says deny inbound traffic protocol 50 source outside so it denies a traffic which is coming from site B 200.1.1.1 okay which is going to inside 10.1.1.1 100.1.1.1 okay now we'll see how many connection that is there so we can see UDP on port number 500 the connection is up we'll try to log in to site A and we'll see what is the condition okay now show crypto Isaac MSA this is the command to check whether the phase one is up or not and in the state would be QM ideal means it is active right now the status is active okay now we'll try to check IPsec SA I can see the in caps the encryption and digest is happening but there is no decaps decryption and verification so I can send the traffic I can send the traffic from here but I'm not receiving any traffic because this is denying the so in VPN the connection how it will be like I'll just rub this first and I'll try okay now in first phase the connection will go from site A to site B on U D P 500 okay that is Isaac M port number and when phase 2 comes in the picture it will be ESP ESP is protocol number it ha it works on layer 3 
so protocol number is 50 and it has two connection so UTP 500 is only one connection the communication what happens is phase one the control connection will maintain only one connection that is UTP 500 but in case of phase two there will be two connection but on the port number same port number so this will be your unidirection but this will be bidirectional so site A will initiate a connection and site B also will initiate one more connection because they will create two SS one SA will be from A to B and the con second connection will be B to A to check this information why because I'll just tell you why they have two connection so the reason behind two connection is they have different SPI numbers I'll just show you so our inbound the outbound ESP is having this SPI number and the outbound SA is actually it is not there so that is the reason there will be one inbound SA and outbound SA in inbound SA this is the number they will identify to which tunnel I need to send the traffic so I have a source and destination IP address over here so my encryption or the interesting traffic is from source this to this it has a SPI number of this but in case of outbound as the connection is not established but I'll show you in B show IP show crypto IPsec SA see the SPA number will be matched okay now in this SP uh, in this essay I have source of 10.1.0 to 10.1.0 and the reference SBI number is this so they will actually identify with this SPI number whether to which traffic to encrypt and what all encryption algorithm we need to use it also have that information I'll just show you how where it will be so the transform set is ESP3 dash ESP MD5 and it is a tunnel mode so this is how they will recognize which tunnel to send the traffic because if you have uh, hundred of tunnels that is configured on the router how router will come to know to which tunnel I need to send it will check the source and destination it will check the encryption and uh, encryption algorithm and it will check the SPI number so once it reaches to another end uh, the peer IP also verifies the uh, uh, the source and destination the uh, algorithm and the SPI number so this is how they will segregate and this is how the connections will be established what is the best possible way to do that there is a two solution that we can implement we can allow 
the via access list okay so this is the access list access list out in permit ESP host 200.1.1.1 to host 100.1.1.1 okay access group out in in interface outside okay now once we initiate the traffic now it should work and it is working so we can uh, do this thing or there is a feature that is there in ASA you don't need to allow via ACL I'll just remove this ACL and I'll show you and for that I need to clear the tunnel first so I'll just remove the crypto map no crypto map C map and in B B also will do the same interface no crypto map C map okay and we'll put it again uh, so this is uh, actually way to uh, this is not the way to clear the crypto ASA but sometime in the lab it doesn't work so we'll try to remove the crypto map and we'll, otherwise I, in the troubleshooting section I'll show you how to clear the crypto maps now what we need to do is we need to go to global if you guys know uh, what you need to do is you need to go to global policy okay so once you reach the global policy you need to inspect IPsec pass through so once you initiate the traffic ASA will understand this is VPN connection it allows the ESP traffic inside as well so if I try to ping now and in the first message okay I guess we have not cleared the that is the reason it is uh, it is not allowing the connection so we'll try to clear crypto clear connection all okay uh, we'll go to B and we'll try to connection all clear all so there is no connection right now in the ASA and again we'll try to show crypto as I can say so it has been deleted we'll wait for some time to get it delete no state no nothing okay and also show crypto IPsec essay so why we have done this because if there is a connection ASA will 
think like it is an existing connection it will not it will never inspect the IPsec and it will deny the connection again now again we'll try to initiate the same connection and we'll see whether we have IPsec pass through we have yes we have right now and we'll try to do it again so we can see the connection is coming up so if you see the connection now there is two ESP connection one so this is bi-directional connection and this is UTP connection okay and if you want you can increase the timer of ESP because once the ESP expire you won't be able to uh, like communicate fr uh, from one uh, network to another network so we, ne we need to change the timeout value for ESP so what we need to do is timeout ESP we can set the value of ESP ok as we have already a connection okay what you need to do is uh, I'm really sorry for that uh, it was my mistake uh, instead of doing ESP you need to increase the value of UDP because UDP has two minutes of timeout so once you increase the UDP timeout value if ESP goes also there will be a existing UDP connection it allows the outside connection it will think like uh, this is the uh, connection uh, this is the U uh, VPN connection is already established so it allows the outside traffic ok so this is what I wanted to show you guys uh, if there is a firewall in between your VPN peers this is what you need to do in the next video we are going to cover that how the NAT will work.